One of the most well-published failure stories in history was that of Thomas Edison. Before inventing the light bulb, Edison faced thousands of unsuccessful attempts. His perspective on these failures is famously quoted as, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Edison's perseverance through countless setbacks serves as a testament to the importance of persistence and learning from failure. Then there's Steve Jobs. The co-founder of Apple was once ousted from his own company at the age of 30. However, Jobs saw this as a liberating experience and a chance to enter one of the most creative periods of his life. He went on to found Next and Pixar, and eventually returned to Apple, guiding it to become one of the most valuable companies in the world. In the philosophical arena, the Stoics of ancient Greece offered a unique perspective on failure. They believed that our reactions to failure, rather than failure itself, were within our control. Stoicism teaches us that embracing failure as a part of life's natural course can lead to personal growth and inner peace. This philosophy encourages us to focus on our efforts and accept outcomes gracefully, regardless of whether they meet our initial expectations. Moving forwards in time, the Renaissance era brought about a celebration of human potential and achievement. Yet, even amidst this glorification of success, there was an underlying acknowledgement of failure as a necessary companion to innovation. Artists and scientists of the time often experienced numerous failures before achieving breakthroughs, suggesting that failure is an inherent step in the pursuit of knowledge and beauty. In contrast to this, today's society often harbours a fear of failure, partly due to the high value placed on success and achievement. This is further amplified by, as we've mentioned earlier, social media and the constant visibility of success stories, which very rarely show what goes on behind the scenes in order to get the person to that point. This creates in us a skewed perspective that success is common and effortless, making personal failures seem even more isolating and significant than they truly are. Culturally, attitudes towards failure can vary significantly. In some Eastern philosophies, there's an acceptance of failure as part of the cyclical nature of life. Concepts like wabi-sabi in Japan celebrate the beauty and imperfection and the natural cycle of growth and decay, teaching us to find value and meaning in the transient, imperfect aspects of our lives. Exploring the historical and cultural context of failure shines an interesting light. It shows us that fear of failure, while universal, is also shaped by the times and societies we live in. By understanding these perspectives, we can begin to see our own fears in a new light. Not as modern burdens, but as age-old challenges that humans have faced and navigated throughout history. Now, I'm going to dive into a bit of the psychological tapestry behind some of this stuff, and I want to get into the actual psychology of fear itself so we can start to understand some of the triggers and motivators that can be contributing to our fear of failure. There's a, there's a lot of intricacy involved and a lot of unraveling that we are going to have to do on this, on this little journey to untangle the, what I would call the intellectual and the emotional side of things. So it's going to get a little technical, but I hope that you find it useful. At its core, fear of failure is tied to our basic human need for approval and belonging. This fear often stems from early experiences where failure led to criticism or rejection either from family, peers, or through our educational encounters. These experiences can imprint a message that our worth is measured by our successes and that failure diminishes our value. Evolutionarily, our brains are wired to avoid pain and seek pleasure. From this perspective, fear of failure can be seen as an instinctual response designed to protect us. The anticipation of the emotional pain associated with failure, be it embarrassment, disappointment or criticism, activates our brain's threat detection system, the amygdala, prompting us to avoid potential failure at all costs. Cognitive psychologists point to catastrophizing as a common thought pattern that fuels the fear of failure. This means imagining the worst possible outcome in any given situation, no matter how unlikely. For someone with a heightened fear of failure, The prospect of failing a task isn't just about the task alone. It's seen as a domino that could topple many aspects of their life, leading to an overestimation of the potential impact of failure. 
Social psychologists highlight the role of social comparison theory in understanding fear of failure. We constantly compare ourselves to others, especially in today's digital age, where everyone's achievements seem just a scroll away. This comparison can skew our perception of success and failure, making us more fearful of failing in the eyes of others. The psychological impact of the fear of failure is profound. It can lead to avoidance behaviours, where the risk of failing becomes so intimidating that individuals choose not to pursue goals or opportunities. It can also result in self-handicapping, where people intentionally set themselves up for failure to protect their self-esteem by having an excuse for not meeting their expectations. But it's important to remember that fear of failure, while deeply ingrained, is not insurmountable. Recognising these psychological patterns is the first step towards changing them. By understanding the roots of our fear, we can begin to challenge our perceptions of failure and success, reduce the power fear holds over us, and ultimately, embrace failure as a part of the learning and growing process.